Master Chief versus Kratos. Who would win in this epic battle of mythic Greek proportions? Stay tuned throughout the video to find out the results. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another commentary here today. We're talking about a little bit of a Twitter battle that happened recently, well at least last month in December. Uh, the E3 Twitter page recently put out a bit of a bracket of a few iconic gaming characters to fight against each other based on popular vote who would move on to the next round. And of course this being a Halo based channel, Master Chief was involved with it so I gotta talk about this. So if you guys enjoy these kind of informational videos, fun little videos like this, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below who you would like to see in these uh, different battles here. Who do you think should have won, who should have lost. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay updated with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes can be a bit wonky at times. So let's get right into the video here. Well, this is how the bracket was originally set up. Now, this obviously isn't the most scientifically best options possible or whatever, but it's just kind of a fun poll that I thought would be fun to share with you guys as well. So, in the first bracket, we had Sonic versus Snake, and then we had Bayonetta versus Kratos, Master Chief, obviously, and May from Overwatch, and then we had Shovel Knight versus Geralt from The Witcher. What I would like to do for this video is give you guys my predictions on this bracket, and then we'll go into how they actually played out. The first section here, we have Sonic versus Snake. I'm gonna have to go with Sonic in this one for one re two reasons, because I've actually played Sonic the Hedgehog video games before back on the Sega Genesis way back in the day, and I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game because it'd be on the PlayStation, and I'm an Xbox fanboy with you know, I play Halo, so uh, though that's a very tough one because I know Snake is a very significant character within the gaming universe as a whole. So uh, very tough one there, but I'd have to go with Sonic just because of that. And also because they, well, they're making a movie about Sonic. There are no movies about Snake, but maybe there will be in the future though. But anyways, next section here, we have Bayonetta versus Kratos. I've never played Bayonetta or I played a little bit of God of War actually. And, uh, but for basically, uh, basically on just what God of War 4 was like and how significant it was for this year, how it probably would have been game of the year if it wasn't for Red Dead Redemption. And uh, it seemed like they had did a really good job of storytelling in that game. So I had to go with Kratos versus Bayonetta. Kratos wins on that one. Next we have Master Chief versus Mei. And obviously, I'm like, it's Master Chief, come on. I'm a Halo fanboy and also I think Master Chief is much more significant of a character than Mei is from Overwatch. But I feel like that one is a bit of a no-brainer. And in the last first round match, we have Shovel Knight versus Geralt from Witcher 3. And I would have to go with Geralt from Witcher 3 because I think Shovel Knight, if I'm not mistaken, is a uh, rather kind of just straightforward kind of fun game. I've never played it, but I know it's rather popular. Uh, but I do know a lot of people have say that The Witcher 3 has a really good storytelling right there and it's one of the best games ever created <laughs> and it's kind of one of those things where like what you haven't played Witcher 3? I think I'd have to go with Geralt on that one. Now we're into the second round here so we have Sonic the Hedgehog versus Kratos. So this one for me is actually rather difficult because one I haven't played a Sonic game since the second Genesis back in the 90s and I've never played a God of War game really. I played a little bit of a God of War 2 remastered a long time ago. This is a really tricky one for me so I have to kind of look this more objectively than subjectively and I would honestly would say I'd probably have to go with Sonic the Hedgehog just because I would say he's much more of a recognizable character within gaming and like I said earlier that they are making a movie about Sonic the Hedgehog so there's something to say about that. Though nowadays I probably would prefer to play God of War over Sonic the Hedgehog but hey that's how I'm feeling about this one I think Sonic is a much more iconic character in gaming uh, kind of wrapped up with Mario, I'd say, with, uh, you know, characters you recognize just without even playing a game, you recognize who Sonic the Hedgehog is. So, that will put Sonic into the finals. And now, the second round, on the other side, we have Master Chief versus Geralt, and I would have to pretty much just go with Master Chief. Like, I feel like that's a bit of a no-brainer one on this one as well. Uh, judging on, well, me being a Halo fan, that's kind of biased on that one, but also, I'd say just objectively that Master Chief is much more of an iconic gaming character than Geralt is. I think just based on the look of the characters alone, like, obviously, Geralt definitely looks unique for a human medieval warrior kind of dude but it just looks like a medieval warrior dude you wouldn't expect that but when you see master chief you look at that guy you're like that's halo that's master chief right there so that's one thing to kind of point out right there and also like i said that uh, master chief is like the face of gaming he's right up there with like mario and sonic the hedgehog as well when it comes to iconic characters my halo bias has to come involved with this but also i think objectively that we can all say that master chief would be the one to play in the finals for this one so the finals 
go to Master Chief on them. And then we have the finals. Master Chief versus Sonic the Hedgehog. Obviously, me being a Halo fan, I want Master Chief in this one. But I'm trying to look at it as a, from a person outside the perspective of a Halo fan. Like, who do you feel is a would win in, like, a popularity contest kind of thing in this situation. I know that uh, Sonic the Hedgehog has been rather irrelevant in gaming for quite a few years, like probably about close to 10 years now at this point. And I do think they're coming back with a game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but Master Chief has always been in the realm of gaming. Halo games are still very relevant at this point. People still like and playing them, them quite a bit. Not as much as they used to, obviously like at the Halo 3 days, but still a very relevant character. And these two characters are probably some, the two most, one of the two most iconic characters in gaming right now. But for me, I think me having my bias in this one, it would just have to go to Master Chief. So that's how I would play out this bracket, but let's see how the public on Twitter did. But like I said, this being a Halo channel, we're going to kind of focus on the Halo side of things on this. So in the first vote, it was Master Chief won 70% of the vote with about 5,000 votes in against May. So a uh, handing that uh, May got in that one. Like, she just got smacked. No problem. Master Chief moving on to the second round. Now, the way I actually found this poll was actually on this one specifically. It didn't expire. I actually commented on it saying, Chief really is the only correct answer with this poll. And I would say 100% very true. Master Chief being one of the most iconic gaming characters, the face of Microsoft Gaming. If he cannot beat May from Overwatch, just one of the character, many characters in Overwatch, then I think we have a serious problem on our hands. But luckily, with 70% 70, 70 of the 5,000 votes went to Master Chief, so we get to go on to the second round. So in the second round here, we had Master Chief versus Geralt from The Witcher 3. Now this one actually did have me worried since obviously that Halo's popularity has gone down a little bit over the year. And also with The Witcher 3 being a role-playing game, you have much more of a connection with that character. So I feel like a lot of people could have a much more stronger feeling towards Geralt than they did with the Master Chief, because Master Chief is really just like he's supposed to be a husk for the player to kind of be put in have the player put themselves in the shoes of master chief so obviously master chief doesn't have that much personality but obviously we have a lot of connection with master chief because we've been playing with as him since 2001 and so you know there's a lot of nostalgic feels behind that so with this vote came around let's check it out with over 8,000 votes in master chief actually won this with 66 percent of the vote and that was just like a hell yeah, that's awesome right there. Because obviously, me being a Halo fan, this being a Halo channel, we want to see Master Chief succeed, and he clearly did. That should put him into the final round of this E3 holiday special bracket. And then you can see as the final vote here came around, it was Master Chief versus Kratos from God of War. Now this one, I was thinking this is a real coin flip because obviously with God of War coming out this year, or I should say of last year of 2018, that uh, it was very well received. It was a much more emotional kind of story driven kind of God of War game compared to the previous ones. And so I've heard that the storytelling and the relationship between Kratos and his son in that game were fantastic. I never played it because I don't have a PS4. We had Master Chief involved with this one as well. So essentially, it's a battle of two Greek gods, Kratos and a Spartan, coming together to see who would be the ultimate character of Greek mythos, if you will. And with over 15,000 votes in for this poll right here, the Master Chief actually came out on top with 61% of the vote. Now that was a huge relief for me again because obviously Kratos and God of War 4 was in an absolutely amazing game from what I've heard and from what I've seen. Uh, but obviously having Master Chief come out on top was pretty awesome. I do think there was a bit of a bump right there because I think that the Halo Twitter page actually kind of tweeted out this last one as well. So got a little bit of a little knock towards our favor on that one. <laughs> but hey, you know, fair game is fair. This is just Twitter seeing who wins kind of thing. And Master Chief came out on top. So it makes me still happy to see that people are still very much attached to the Halo franchise and haven't forgotten about it and are still very much in love with the Master Chief. Halo and that entire universe as a whole. So that's the end of this video guys. Master Chief came out on top on my list and as well on Twitter. So it makes me very happy to see how excited people are still about Halo and still have an investment in this franchise. So hopefully it can roll a little bit of that momentum of hype as people love Halo and some people kind of falling out of it. But hopefully moving in the future, 
we can still have that excitement for this franchise. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like on this video. At least you know you want to see some more content like this. Help this video get more notoriety and so that more people can get a chance and they can kind of weigh their two cents on this topic. Leave a comment down below who you think should have won this challenge as well. And if you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because, you know, sub boxes have been kind of weird. And so I hope you guys see around. If you miss any content from me or you're new to the channel, please make sure to check out the videos on the screen right over here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.